Okay, so Honda Odyssey, male, female, white, texting with a black cell phone in her right hand as she's driving. Oh, I'm trying to have her. Yeah, that's the one right in front of you there, the uh, black Odyssey. Yeah, it's going to be at 1050 hours. Uh, location is going to be Young and Savage. We can't be everywhere at all times, but if we're able to make these observations on these main roadways, we know that the message will get out there. So I think in bringing in the public, bringing in our community partners, that'll allow us to work together to ultimately try to lower the amount of distracted driving that's out there. So we got on the bus today. First of all, I'm gonna be talking to the driver, letting them know why we're there, right? Once I'm up there, I like to sit in an elevated area, usually towards the back of the bus. That way you've got a greater way of looking into the vehicles that are both going with the traffic or against it. And then once I situate myself there, I let the guys know who are around the area. This is the bus I'm on. This is the direction we're traveling. And I'll give off landmarks so that way they know if some are in the front or some are trailing behind, kind of the general area where I'm at. So you're looking through the bus window into the vehicles as they're traveling either beside us or going opposite us. Sometimes if it's a higher commercial motor vehicle, you're looking directly across at them. And you're gonna see what they're doing, right? Some people are two hands on the wheel doing exactly what they're supposed to be doing. Other times, you're gonna get those people holding the morning coffee, the, the morning sandwich. And they're just trying to get to work or they're trying to get where they have to go when they're, when they're driving down the road. So I'm gonna look for the type of the car, color, make, model. I'm gonna to try to describe the type of phone they're using, right? Whether it's an Apple phone or a Samsung, whether it's in a case or not in a case, and where they're using it. Is it gonna be in their right hand, left hand? Is it up by their ear or is it down by their waist and while they're texting and driving? We can't be everywhere at all times. Maybe the next time they're driving down that road and they see a bus, well, is this the one that the police are on or not? Okay, fellas, um, white Dodge minivan, female driver, uh, she's in the Lane number one, about to go southbound as the light changes. Operating a handheld device in her left hand, texting while driving. License. We're trying to engage the public so that they can help us in a, in a partnership. If they see us out there full uniform on a bus, they're gonna start asking questions. And if we can get out there and say, this is what we're doing, this is why we're on the bus, they're gonna be able to, to work with us. There's been times that people have actually engaged us as officers to say, you know, did you see that guy or did you see that, that woman she was texting and they're actually trying to help us as well. There's always going to be people that sometimes think that it's it's not the best tactic, it's not a fair tactic. We're going to use different tactics as people change their ways of getting the information to their friends. Where we used to have mobile or, or stationary enforcement, this is just a different way. We're still being mobile in our enforcement, we're just using a different vehicle and doing it. And hopefully people will see it's not just police cars that they have to be cognizant about when they're texting or when they're talking. It's everywhere. Everybody when they're out in their car, they think that this is their own little area. And it is. And that's why a lot of people will drive their own cars to, to work or to, to wherever they have to go. But when that own little space may affect somebody else's, it can only take a moment for a tragedy to happen. We want to make sure that it doesn't.